I said a lot of other developers that kind of fears them out. They they need to have hard sales, and I don't know right. what the pay structure is for Game Pass, but I don't imagine these companies are making a lot of money off of it. Well, my, they have to because Microsoft pays them to put their game on Game Pass. Yeah, I know, but you're like a lot of the third party games on Game Pass are from companies that are probably unsure about how well their game was going to sell. Like, I, I wonder, like, how does how is 2K getting compensated for having 2K20 on Game Pass? Let's look it up. How much money do companies get for putting games... Oops. Do games it. on Game Pass. Okay, hold on. Before we get into other tangents. We're back! Oh, hey! The first video in a year <laughs> from the Gaming View, and we're joined by the host of the Prism Podcast. Actually, yeah. the Prism Fundamental, which houses... How many podcasts are you up to now? 37? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we've got uh, we've got our ESPN 8, the Ocho, um, <laughs> <laughs> powered uh, one that's uh, heavy on those, like, uh, kick, fire kickball. You kick you kickball with the balls on fire. There you go. <laughs> sports and what's it called that catalog? <laughs> oh, no, but... Sports Quarterly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I just watched Dodgeball again the other day. <laughs> that movie is freaking awesome. Oh uh, yeah. But we're here yeah. today. We're going to talk about Xbox in, inside Xbox event. We're supposed to show some gameplay for the new Series X, more than what we've seen. Some Valhalla gameplay, blah blah blah. And so apparently it's supposed to be all third-party stuff, um, which is a bummer, but as we get closer to E3, of course, we're going to start seeing some first-party things, hopefully, from Microsoft. So, neither of us are, are too excited about what we're going to see. I think we've seen a lot of it. Maybe we'll get some surprises in this thing. Um, I don't know how long it's going to run, maybe 15 to 30 minutes, but... We'll see. Maybe they get some. Uh, we get some gems. Yeah, I was excited, and then the third party like deflated. emphasis kind of deflated me completely. So we've just been talking about what Microsoft needs to do. Can they do anything? Um, Sony's sitting pretty right now, and Microsoft is like. I think the most annoying thing about Microsoft to me is how just buddy buddy they want to be with everything. Like, come on, Sony, we just want to be friends. Let's play in the same playgrounds, big enough for both of us. Well, Sony's like, well, <laughs> turn around so I can stab you in the back. Well, Sony's using Microsoft for their expansion. You know, we've been talking about the streaming, remote play, um, X Cloud, Stadia, Valve with their Steam Link. Um, Sony is going to be using Microsoft's Azure. I think that's their cloud. That's their cloud-based platform, yeah. Yeah, that's what they're going to be using for the Sony version. And you know, we've talked about it a little bit. It kind of reemphasizes the point. Not that we necessarily agree. I don't think we agree too as much as he says he does. You know, Phil Spencer says that he views he doesn't view Sony and Nintendo's competition. Uh, he views Amazon and Google as competition. And I get it because Microsoft is in the stratosphere of those two companies where Nintendo and Sony just as companies don't make as much money as those three companies. And even though Stadia is off to a rough patch, you disagree. I think it, eventually it will be a thing. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how big it is, but it will be something where it's like, oh, okay, you know what? It's a nice option to have. And there's no difference it, it's, potentially it's a nice option now but once project x cloud comes out it's it's going to be obsolete because there, there would be no reason there's no reason for it to exist um which is my biggest gripe with it and then the azure thing is cool yeah and so let's just clarify phil spencer said that but he wasn't talking about xbox's competition is amazon and google it's Microsoft's competition is Amazon and Google, so he's speaking out of turn for the broader company, I believe, because Amazon has nothing to offer, and Google Stadia is a pup, so 
None, right. None of those are like they're not really competition unless he just is saying that because he wants to feel good. But see, we beat Amazon. It's like well, Amazon. I think he's console. saying that because that's what he's looking five years down the line. He perhaps, yeah. And I, I, I get why he's saying it. I, I also think you're a hundred percent right where he's saying that because to make themselves look good because they really got. House. I mean, there's no other way to say it. they got taken to the woodshed. This generation, the PS4 is much better than the Xbox One. I have both. I've had the original Xbox. I've had the S. I've had the the One X. If they had launched with the one with the S, I think they would have been fine. The the original one was a disaster. I remember getting it. It always felt like it was sluggish. The the UI, the the interface. Well, it's and give you to give them enough credit that they they changed that quick. That original UI that was shown at that horrible E3 was so bad because all they cared about was you being able to watch your football games through your Xbox. That no, like, who gives a crap about that? And I actually Xbox, liked it. I, of course you did, because you like football. But I liked it, but it was like, because I had no, cable. No, I love the like, I had a cable box. It's like, but don't, the don't spend, great, like, the whole they... press conference on that. Like, exactly. hey, you can connect your cable box and just switch nice and easy. They should have just show me highlighted again. the pass-through. The pass-through, the HDMI pass-through was fantastic. It's still a great yes. feature that PlayStation doesn't even want to touch. So Correct. But It costs because yeah, it costs money. It costs money, but it's still good. That's an awesome thing. I mean, it allows you to capture so much stuff without even having a $300 Elgato. But, um... Yeah, that that was a train wreck. The UI was yeah. a train wreck. The system was good. I had no problems with the system. It was I good. for me, whatever reason, it always felt very sluggish. The user inter the user interface. It felt like a it PS3 did. user interface. Which again, again, someone who uh, I'm not trying to. Oh, man, you had everything. It's like I'm just for comparison's sake. The 360 was always better than the PS3. It always was. Even though the PS3 games like Metal Gear Solid 4, Uncharted. Okay, yeah, they may have looked better. Um. But I don't know, Gears 2 looked really good compared to everything on PS4. Gears or PS3, excuse me. Um, PS3. But all multi games look better on the PS3 because it was just easier to build for. Um, and, and the 360 user phase, whether it was the blades, the windows, it always felt smooth. Yeah, um, but that might have been a consequence of the hardware's cap like the extent that the hardware could be pushed. It almost it almost allowed them to create a, a good UI because they didn't have as much memory. Whereas the one, you had all this memory to work with and people get over zealous <coughs> and make this <coughs> horrible UI that just slugs the system. All right, here we go. We're here starting we go. off with a trailer right off the bat. 18. This is going to be Assassin's Creed has to be. Oh no. Infinity War? Oh, Xbox. <laughs> Great. Just kidding. <clears throat> Man, my throat. Hey everyone, this is Aaron Greenberg from Team Xbox. I'm excited oh, thank to be you. coming to you here live from my kitchen. Games I'm marketing. That is one giant Xbox Series X he has in the back. <laughs> yeah, yo. Bro, if I could do that to my refrigerator, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep all your games inside of it. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, still a collector? Not going digital? The Xbox Series X refrigerator. <laughs> it's like a jukebox. You just put the du the discs in there like a jukebox yeah. and play it. That'd be <laughs> awesome. <a> giant 18 inch laser discs. <laughs> no Harry Herback? Oh, wow. It's an exciting day. We know fans have been waiting for this. But also, we know you're wondering what's going on with Xbox Game Studios. You guys have 15 yes, that's what we want to know around the world. You blew us away at XO19. You blew us away yeah. at the Game Awards. <clears> I gotta play the first one of that. That game does look it's fantastic. It's creepy, dude. I know it's like, but it's about not like mental health and stuff. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, there's the man. Oh, not this stuff. Matt Booty. Matt Booty. Another Matt, though. Really what a shame. Safety of our teams and of course Head of Xbox Game Studios. And that's why Ed they're Matt all Booty. working from home right now, whether it's in Sweden, the UK, Canada, or the US. Oh, bookshelves. Books and I've really been impressed the with the ingenuity and the creativity that Bound they've by shown design. to get around some of the challenges of design. working from home and to keep production moving Man, look at those mini arcades he's got. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they're playable. We will begin unveiling gameplay from our studios starting okay. in July. July, yeah, so that's when they're going to start revealing games. All right, games but see, all those pictures of our games that are already out. 
Yeah, and, okay. and also 343 and Halo. Okay, so no Halo right. today. It's time to get yeah. Right. Halo's coming, Halo Infinite, you've been waiting. The world's most anticipated Which is games. fine. I know uh, like e since E3 is being canceled, everyone will we that's, that's when we generally get the releases anyway. June, yeah. July, so that's fine. For you, I could not be more excited. Yeah. It's it disappointing, but I'm okay. Just show us something. I want to see actual gameplay, even though the, the gameplay for Assassin's Creed we're going to get is from Ubisoft, so it's definitely not going to look like it is. Yeah. Yeah, it will tr tread lightly. Oh, yeah, this is the I new Xbox. I do love the intro. You like the intro to the series, X? Like when you turn the thing on, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, that like looks that. cool. That's it looks epic. Good. It's Very it's cool. sleek. Yeah, clean. Hey, let's make sure I'm on 4K. Uh, oh, I should be watching this on YouTube, man. YouTube is 4K. No, no, YouTube, you, you can't get 4K on YouTube now. They uh, reduced the output so that uh, more people can watch YouTube, just for the pandemic. Oh, Plays and Presents. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Fuck quad. In-game footage. Okay, so yeah. Is this Titanfall? Oh. There you go. Futuristic, like right up your alley. Yeah, it does look like Titanfall. Titanfall. <laughs> yeah, that's the gun. This is definitely not in-game, though. <laughs> but it looks... Uh, oh. Oh, maybe this is Call of Duty. No. Then can you do that in whatever stupid futuristic Call of Duty? You, like, slam something on the ground. Yeah, that was a bad mistake there. Oh, what is this? What? Oh. It's not Titanfall. I was about to say like it was like it looks like it's feudal Japan, was it, or, but like futuristic feudal Japan. Was it like Japan fall or? This feels like a game from uh, Titan Samurai. Blizzinski. <laughs> Titan Samurai. <laughs> Shadow Warrior Titan fall. There you go. Adventures. Nini Puchi Kuchi Ahachi. You literally could have just jumped over the bed. Was this Back to the Future? This is uh, Shadow Warrior Titanfall Cyberpunk. <laughs> so, <laughs> first person driving is not good. I know this is probably on rails, but bright memory, bright infinite. memory infinite. We were close. Fiat. Is that exclusive? Tell me it's exclusive. What you just witnessed was bright memory infinite from Playism, created from the ground up by a single individual at what? Wow. Studio in China. Developers are using the hardware to achieve their dreams, and they're nice. Telling you, bro, you can get on that Unity. Using the power to optimize their games the way they want. You know, higher resolutions, crazy frame rates, ray tracing, and yes, faster in-game load times. But it's also awesome to see the partner support for smart delivery, ensuring that fans yes. only have that's a really cool game thing once to enjoy it on whichever Xbox, Xbox yeah, it they is own cool or will own in the future. So, oh, I hope they do. The can we get some clarification minutes, on the 100% backwards compatibility, please? Of the amazing next-gen games you can expect from our partners this holiday and early next year. And because we read the interwebs, everything you see here will highlight the in-game experience with actual game. Well, Matt, they're answering your question there if it's in-game footage or not. What to expect when Xbox Series X At least they're addressing it. This year. So, we'll see. Back. Relax, Fingers crossed. And it's Ubisoft. The following dreams being Microsoft can only Xbox. tell us what Ubisoft told them. <laughs> and Ubisoft, this is this is literally we fired the game up and played it. While the one person made, made that game. Video. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. That's why, I, like, that was neat. I like that about Cuphead too. You know, Cuphead was hand drawn the entire game. Like those feet, those those little nitpicks are awesome. Is this Forza? No, they're not doing any it first party. Good. No, this is dirt. Dirt 3.0 or some uh, rally game. Where, where's uh, Burnout, man? Let me bring Burnout back, like, legit. Criterion's? What happened to Criterion Studios? They gave them Need for Speed, and it's like, that's not what they do. They do Burnout. Yeah. I don't want to sound mean or anything, but maybe because I'm watching this on Mixer and it's 1080p, it's like, it looks like Doesn't Forza look Horizon. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank I you. I, I just want to make sure. That. I think it just doesn't look that good. Okay, because the other game looked different. <laughs> right. The other game looked like it had a lot going on. This this may have a lot going on, but it doesn't. For a racing game, it doesn't look like Forza Horizon looks better than this. Yeah. 
course, the Horizon 4 looks better. Than but this. this probably runs great, though. <laughs> dirt, yeah, see Dirt 5. Oh, wow. Well. Welcome back, I guess. Never played one. Yeah. Uh, one of them was free on PlayStation. They had a couple. Ooh. What was that? That's a good one. Uh, expected Series X visual quality. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. This is what we think we, it'll look like. As we say in Spanish, John Pesamos. We already started. Oh, is this that uh was this that one game? No. Okay. Elden Ring? No. It was like a it was a first person game, all the weapons you made were like ripped off of body parts and stuff like that. Oh, I have no idea. Is this Aliens? Looks like Aliens. It does. Oh wait, I think it is that game. That's kind of disgusting. Is this Species? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is what Prometheus yeah. should have been. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not how that game's gonna look. I would almost bet my life on it. Ooh. It's the flood. I was about to say this is like the flood, but like really mature, like Ooh. It's the story of the flood. Yeah, this is it's this game's been out on PC for a little bit. Are you sure this isn't species? <laughs> Drink. Yeah. What the heck? Score. Score. Yeah, that's the one. It's been on PC out. It's been out on PC for a little bit there. <sighs> it's gross. Yeah. Okay. Something we've never seen before. Let's keep it going. That's what I've, I'm telling you, I love Xboxes. They're just yeah, like, let's, let's just show everything. Not like Nintendo. Order. Let's spend 30 minutes to show you why we decided to design Luigi. Oh, here we go. Smart delivery. Okay. Oh. Oh. Again, doesn't look great. No, but this is an Xbox One, One Series X game. and Because they had the smart delivery. Yeah. So... You can this play is a game that's designed mm -hmm. when it when you get it. Let our ascension serve as proof of our righteousness. Uh, what was that? Oh, Forsaken. That was a Forsaken reboot. Wow, that would be crazy. The future is Forsaken. The future is Forsaken. You know what we need? We need a new Turok game. A good one. Chorves? 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 Yeah, go ahead. Get on chores. <laughs> chorus? It says a V, but it says chorus in the... What's going on? They kind of just derailed that. <laughs> Playing chorves? <laughs> I took Madden. What's up, everybody? Thanks for letting me crash the show. This is Patrick You're welcome. Mahomes, quarterback for the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. I hope all of y'all been staying home, staying safe, and playing a ton of video games together. But hey, I'm here because I have a privilege of telling you this. Madden 21 is coming to Xbox Series X, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's been a journey that's older yeah, than I'm me. Sure. And I was lucky enough to hey, he's really good, though. Year. You would actually like watching him play. I don't like football. Know where you're about to go. Yeah, but he's fun, though. The, the sport's dumb. Yeah. Let's throw around the pig skin. Look at the classics. All right, they're hyping this one up. This better be good because I heard the last one was horrible. It has been good since so far. Man, so this one better. If they're gonna go back and show all the old classic Madden games, you better deliver. 
I've, I've given this is one of those the last time we did a, a broadcast on something like this E3 I said I had put uh, Call of Duty with all Garden companies that I had banned I've yeah. since uh, you know <laughs> ceased hostilities <laughs> with the Olive Garden we've opened up we've closed the embargo we've opened it up uh, we are doing business <laughs> however Madden I still don't do business with <laughs> There's loads of Madden 21 news coming soon, and the game. And it comes to me free anyways, because I get the, I have the, the EA pass. Right. The best news. When you buy Madden NFL 21, you still have that. One, you get it free on yeah. Xbox Series. Why? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> what? Honestly, what is possibly on the EA on pass that you would play Enjoy regularly? The rest of the show and get ready to fill next level with EA. Oh yeah, nothing. <laughs> you know they like, a Battlefield 5 is done. Like that was supposed to be, you know, games as a service is supposed to continue. The lab, yeah, the next done. DLC, that's it. They're, they're done with it. <laughs> yeah, is the worst, bro. I thought you had a hamper full of dirty clothes. <laughs> Me too. I was like, that's messed up, man. Clean up your I thought we were like empowering women and stuff. It's like you got her in the background doing laundry. It's like, dirty. She's like, come on, man. This is she's proud, man. She's strong and look, she's head of doing all that stuff. Good for her. Oh, man. Okay, Fortunately, so it's just a pillow. Assassin's Creed, I guess, is going to be their big highlight. They keep reminding us. And boy, have they been busy. They are creating That's a little right drab. Now, games that are going to define the generation. Experiences that are just going to blow your mind away. And yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. They say the same stuff every year. Every major publisher worldwide is developing for Xbox. Oh, ooh. Screenshot and that. Hundreds. Hundreds of games. THQ Nordic. Oh, wow. Oh, Amazon Games? The support Word has up. just been tremendous, guys. I have never seen partners Good for her. excited about Xbox and Xbox Series X as they are right now. So why don't we take a look and see more of the great... Do you know there's a rumor that Microsoft's going to buy Sega? And... Sega. Oh, here we go. Smart delivery. What's this? Oi. Is this like a... The Joker gameplay? I don't know. Paradox. <clears throat> oh, they're going to copyright this. True. <laughs> Man, if, if if this video goes big because I say he looks like the Joker, everybody's going to be... Or he looks like Lex Luthor. People are going to be like, yeah, I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> Matt said he looks like Lex Luthor. He looks just like him, bro. <laughs> yeah. This is... Okay, this is a murder simulator. This is like, I, I was just about to say. At least Grand Theft Auto makes a joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, some demented This is like the here. Purge. This American is the Purge. Psycho, <laughs> the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All we need is the Phil Collins in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if they had played Phil Collins in the background, I would have been like, oh my god, they are making a game, American Psycho. <laughs> The heck? The cosa de cosa de guy. And yeah, this is a, definitely a vampire game. Yep. You play as the vampire. Did you ever see that uh, vampire game? Uh, I heard of it. Never played it. Yeah, this does not look good either. Yeah, you're right. It is a murder simulator here. There was a first one. Oh yeah, yeah. That's. I think that was the the first one I was telling you. Well, well maybe it was because it was it was like vampire with a Y, not yeah. vampire. <clears throat> Meh. It's a murder simulator. There you go. <laughs> like Jonathan will love it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? All right, let's see. So very far to find you. Artwork, distinctive. We have stylized. We have stylized. It's strange that your trail ends here. This better not be a sea of thieves of expansion. My dreams. No, they would have saved that for theirs. Oh, that's true. When you left. But it's coming to Game Pass. I was withering so it might be a the... Microsoft Studio. And it's a smart delivery game too, so it's coming to the Xbox like X. Here, yeah. On this extraordinary isle. I dare say I've found my strength again. I'm scared of what it means. 
I feel the call of something deep. First level in modern warfare. Whispers of things. Let's not just say. Will we? Whoa. I think I'm like a couple seconds ahead of you, so. Yeah, I think so. Whoa, is this like a Call of the Sea? I was about to say, this is like the movie, uh, what's the movie? The uh, bestiality movie about a yeah. lady in the water or something? Not lady in the water. Yeah. The monster was great, man. Look at yeah. one. Glamour. I will give Microsoft credit. They're showing a lot of companies that you don't really know of. That maybe, I mean, I like to consider myself someone who knows game studios. Mm -hmm. These are people that I don't know, and, yeah, and if these are some time to shine. That's cool. What I do like is if these are mainly PC developers, it goes back to what what I what I've always mentioned. What I loved about the very first Xbox was that it brought a PC experience to console, and I found that I liked PC games more. And so I, that's why I always liked the Xbox. It brought, instead of just, you know, heavily influenced, you know, console games like Nintendo. And I'm not saying those are bad. Obviously, I love Nintendo. But it's like, I really liked Knights of the Old Republic. I really liked Fable and Call of Duty and um, See, Fallout. This is, this is what's going on. Here we go. Robotron 2021. <laughs> you were all excited, and then all of a sudden they were like... Because it looked great. I'm, I tell you what, man. It's like such the cliche of games. Beautiful Is this cinematic. a Game Pass game? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't see it. And this is what it expects to look like on Series X. Which, why can't you just say, yeah, it's probably going to look like this, because there's not much going on here. Yeah, you're not giving the physics engine. If it's four-player co-op, which it may Decent. look like, might be fun. I'm waiting to get my hands on that Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, I know. I'm not a Minecraft guy. You know it. I've right. been on the record. I'm not a Minecraft guy. I actually can't wait to play that game. It looks fun. <laughs> Rodriguez, he's not, he hates Minecraft with a passion, but he's interested. Even he wants to play it? Yeah. Oh, Game Pass. Here we go. Here we go, Game Pass. Nice descriptive thumbs there. The hair on the knuckles is great. See? This is a zombie I, game. I bet. Yeah. This is a game, though, that I can actually see this, the game engine, looking like it, though, too. Maybe. Like, it looks better than the Series X, but or the Xbox One X, but it doesn't look like it's pre-rendered. It's a cinematic, though. But that looks pretty good. Yeah. I've just been playing Un Uncharted a lot lately, and it's like... The movie scenes. Yeah. From Russia with Love. Why is she killing her baby? Right. Sully? Is that Sully from Uncharted? Speaking of Uncharted? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing here? Oh, she's giving birth to the uh, Antichrist. So this is uh, Constantine, the game. There you go. <laughs> oh. I guarantee you. Yeah, that's what it is. That's hell. <laughs> yep. Man, they're really oh. horror driven in this one. Hi, hope you enjoyed Hi. the reveal of the medium, our next Blue gen Bird psychological team. horror game. We're very excited to announce that we're working on the project in cooperation with Akira Yamaoka, the legendary composer best known for the Silent Hill series. Mm. We'll have more to reveal soon. I want an so adventure game, man. Like, yeah, it's like everything me... is, is horror based. And, okay, I get it. I'm not saying that take those games off the market because obviously people buy them. It's like, give me, give me like a. A Tomb Raider type game that's it's like a new franchise or something. Epa. It's, it's like every game that's <laughs> the same thing. Like it you see this? It's not what it is. There's another dimension. <laughs> so far everything has been either um sci fi futuristic oh, there you go. <laughs> Persona five. <laughs> this is the end of five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What? It's like, man, these people are really weird. Uh, all right. Well, here we go. I can play this game. This looks like Halo. Huh? It does look like the original, the Halo 2 shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Systemic reaction. Avalanche, Avalanche. Why does that sound familiar? Who did? What did they make? I thought that studio closed. Oh. Earth has fall. Oh, is this Earth fall? Oh no, those dinosaurs. Oh, Ark, the way it should have been? 
As long as you let me build, <laughs> I'll love it. No building in this, this game. This is Turok. Can you imagine? This is the Turok game we want. Four player co op Turok. Oh, this is. Don't they have the Turok light? Oh, oh wow. You see the game chugging? Yeah. yeah this game's not ready. <laughs> this game's not ready. <laughs> Let's just say in the. Uh, <laughs> put it back in the oven there, guys. Okay, I need some Chicken. more diverse monsters here. Second extinction. Reclaim Earth. Reclaim Earth. Just call it Turok. <laughs> God, pay that 50 bucks and get the, time, get the name. I need the smart delivery. Alright, let's see here. Oh. oh, Yakuza. Yakuza Zero. Yakuza I played that a little 17? bit on Game Pass. It was actually pretty good. I never played a Yakuza game before. That, oh, so that, thank you for bringing that back up. So, I was watching this video, right? All, this is the one thing I don't like about some Xbox fanboys. Uh -huh. um, they really just think about... So they were they were talking about how if, if Microsoft buys Sony uh, buys Sega, it's like oh they don't need Sonic. So, what's Sonic gonna do for them? It's like okay, Sega doesn't only make Sonic. Sonic yeah. They make Yakuza. They ha also I found this out. They also own the studio Atlas, uh -huh. which makes a whole bunch of Japanese RPGs that sell really well in Japan. So it's like if you get them, you get Atlas Studios. They get the Persona franchise which is huge you get yakuza which is huge you yeah. get sonic obviously which okay maybe there hasn't been a great sonic game in a while but it's like okay let's give them time and make a good one but you also get all these other things they have valkyria chronicles that strategy rpg right you know they you would get, get the get alien license taxi back yeah cra people love to crazy i've never played it but it's a fun like um, arcade game but then you also have um Valkyria Chronicles, yeah, the strategy RPG. It's like a, it's like you aim. It's like a third-person strategy. Man, we can get. Wow. Yeah. But he's practicing social distancing. Take a lesson. Yeah. Yakuza like a dragon. Yakuza is fun. Like it was, it was pretty fun. I it liked. It was like. And then they get Shenmue. Oof. You know, and you think about it. Sony's problem is that they don't have that much money, so they're always operating on a tight budget. It's like when you have Microsoft, all that stuff goes away. I know. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, it's like, like Microsoft is they're the key to their own destruction. <laughs> yeah, they're the and to their own rise. It's like, listen, if you guys go out and buy Sega, that is a game changer because people just don't realize. You, get a you know, Vector Man, Strider. You get a good Strider platform game. Sega. Let me just pull up their some of their games, right? I hope you all enjoyed this brief peek at just some of the titles we have lined up for Xbox. Yeah, yeah, Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I figured this it was going to be about 30 Video games. games. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> okay, they don't own Bayonetta anymore, so that's that's, that's out of the... Out that yeah, I, man, I remember Platinum, they told me... Platinum games, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they own Microsoft it. But they did... They... Maybe... Uh, We'll go into the world yeah, money talks Charlie though. Nexus, but look, I remember Daytona Sherman USA. That was actually a fun game. Anyways, but you get um, oh, let's see here, <laughs> Echo the Dolphin. Look at Echo the Dolphin, maybe. Echo was a good game. That was fun. So with that, I'm gonna leave I think they um, put that to like modern consoles, not like Xbox. But then you get House of the Dead. That's a big arcade game. Jet Set Radio. I've never played it, but I know that's of it. A, that's a cult classic. And to you at home for joining. Outrun, us. man. I remember Outrun. Bro, Streets of Rage, Dreamcast. wasn't that them? Wasn't oh, that Streets of them? Rage is fantastic. Yeah. See you later just, get the, um, just bring the entire Dreamcast library over. You get Virtual Fighter, Virtual Cop. Oh, yeah, I mean, think about, oh, wow, Virtual Cop. Virtual Cop was fun. Man, you see, you should have bought Sega. You could have put Virtual Cop on the Kinect, and then that would have made sense. All right, here's some... Oh, wait, what are they doing? This is another game. Here's this Assassin's Creed. <laughs> No. Is it? Yeah, I think it's Assassin's Creed. See, Ubisoft. Yeah. It's actual gameplay. <laughs> See, this is my whole thing. Vikings, that one that one shot might have been. The Vikings are not... It just doesn't make sense. Vikings are not like, hey, we got to kill these people. Let's, pre let's hide in the shadows and wait for them to turn around. And we'll kill them. Like, no, they just rush in and murder everybody. That's why, they're, that's why they no longer exist. So, Perhaps. okay, so you get Yakuza, Virtua Tennis, Virtua Striker, okay, you can do your own soccer game, 
But really, I think Virtual Fighter and Virtual Cop are big. Valkyria. Streets of Rage. Oh, man, Streets of Rage. That just came out with the game. Um, are you watching this? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm still on Odyssey. I'm still playing Black Flag, dude. Black Flag. <laughs> <So. laughs> yeah, um, actually, and. Um, I don't see any, any actual gameplay here. There's some clips. Uh, this yep, might be gameplay right here. Of course, they have the bird, because this is just a reskin of Origins, again. Few titles command oh, the yeah, respect yeah. and yeah. standard. That the well, that's okay. Series has got I got, is it okay? Because this is why I got a, I got a, failing in the first place. I got Odyssey for free because I was able to test out the Google thing, so I don't yeah, really care. That's fine. So, <laughs> but it, it they get Fantasy me. Star. Yeah, it, it just, oh, they already got Fantasy Star. <gasps> Fantasy Star Online wow. is already on Xbox. Do you remember that game, Knights Into Dreams? Oh, yeah. That game sucked. <laughs> no, I didn't know. Okay. I remember <laughs> that, was their it was first, that was their stab at PlayStation. I remember it had the, one of the most infamous commercials yeah, ever. And it was yeah. like, fly, PlayStation, fly. In Knights, you could fly, but you were literally just on a rail. Let's talk about the Viking Age. Oh, there's a game Headhunter. Apparently, that was really good. These took place in antiquity. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's stuff in there that you can just. Oh, you get Football Manager. I know that's a soccer game. Yeah. That game. That's a PC only game. That game is massive. Massive. Um. On PC. <sighs> yeah, I really don't care about Assassin's Creed right now. No, no offense. I'm sure it'll be fun, and no, the people who like it will not, like it. Be, it's gonna be 100 percent the same types of quests as, as the last two games. Origins was fun because it was new, because it was fresh. It actually had an interesting story to tell that they failed telling. And then before that game was even in the ground and buried, they released the Greek one, which is straight up a reskin. And now this is gonna be the same thing. Do you remember Condemned? Condemned. That was on 360. Yeah, that yeah. junk was scary as mess. Yep, the Sega owns that. So, like, it makes sense to buy them. To be, to be completely That's honest, Microsoft's not going to do it. Yeah. it just makes too much sense. But it also goes to show this is why sometimes people on on the internet, like, you know, this people who say they have like seventy thousand followers, or they have millions of subscribers, and it's like, oh, it doesn't make sense for Microsoft to buy Sega. And then, like, you know, the sheep believe that, and it's like. No, actually, this makes a ton of sense for them to buy them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they get Golden Axe. That's a big RPG on uh, handheld. Oh, yeah. Wait, Golden Axe? No, that was like that was like Streets of Rage, but it was fantasy. <clears throat> was, oh, yeah. What's, oh, that was, uh, that was a classic game. Awesome. They had like six yeah. of them, though. And they'll be faced with some very this this game has zero appeal to me. Assassin's Creed. Uh, along with that, where... We've reinvented combat to be I, every day, every year they don't come out with the feudal uh, Japan Assassin's Creed. I would boycotting Assassin's Creed. Uh, we have there you go, Dragon Force. It's like a uh, real-time strategy tactics role-playing game on the Sega Saturn. I'm just looking at their games in the review history. Like this game was a 90% overall, and it's like and Sega doesn't have the money to do anything because they just don't have the money. Well, they just made games now. Yeah, but like they can't even, they can only do a certain amount of games. There's a whole library they have. Oh, they also get, if Microsoft bet gets them, you get Company of Heroes, you get Warhammer, the Persona, uh, Total War. Like this, I, mean, I wonder if, if anybody they, if they would even let Microsoft purchase Sega. I think that's too big of a of a purchase. They may not let them do it. I don't think it's too big of a purchase. I don't think Sony's that big. Sega anymore. used to is, is, was one of the four pillars. Or Sega, excuse me. I don't I don't think that uh, assimilating them into Microsoft I think would be, it'd be it would raise too many eyebrows. I think Sony would put up a fight. Nintendo would put up a fight. Which allows well, yeah, because those companies don't want to lose those Sega games off their consoles. Right. Well, and that probably wouldn't even happen. Microsoft would still be like, oh, you can have them. They'll be able to enjoy it on the hardware they have now, maybe on the hardware. Yeah, I don't know. I think that would be a smart purchase. Would be. I just don't think it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is gay. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, we're streaming. Ah! I'm banned. <laughs> Suspend me for two weeks. Spend it two weeks without pay. Yeah, this totally looks like an Assassin's Creed game. Is that supposed to be Ezio?
You're gonna have to put like a edit yourself out there. We have seen so <laughs> many Even great teams today idea, showcasing yeah. gameplay for Xbox Series X. So let's go to Malik right now with Robert Cart from Codemasters to talk Dirt 5. All right, everyone, just a few minutes ago, you saw the revealed trailer of Dirt 5, and it, I kind of was left. No, you weren't. Close, but I'm gonna have to get so what were you saying about, like, Forza is not going to have a game? Everything. Right now, we have Robert Karp, who is Dirt yeah. 5, development director. In they are, or they're not? I think, I think, I think Forza Robert 8 will come out and oh, be okay. on a launch. So here's what I, I know Gears is an old game, but I think the Series X, they're going to have their three biggest franchise. The best versions of those games is going to be on the Series X. Because even Halo, okay, yeah, it's a launch console. I launch game, but it's also I can play it on my Series X. I can play it on the console that I bought seven years ago if I had it still. So, well, that's just you know. because they're making it that way. If they if they come right. out and they're like, oh, here's you know here's the Series X and here are our three pillars: Forza's new game, Halo's new game. Oh, and Gears Five. It's been out for, ten, for it's been out for two years. Like that's stupid. Only a year, but like the but best version so of Gears Five and Gears Tactics will be launched. Like they're 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 three biggest franchises. The only things that they have that they own that's keeping them afloat as far as any type of software sales is those three games you know the best versions i think day one of the series is more popular than gears 5. it's uh it might be now there's a lot of people playing it now it wasn't initially no yeah because it was empty <clears throat> super cool i'm excited to see all the different locations as well as how the weather's going to change i'm personally a new york boy so i'm excited to race in new york uh, but it is a racing game after uh, yeah, all. So yeah, let's yeah. talk about like, some of the cars. They just now added weather in. changing to this racing game. And they're excited. Forza about Forehead. It. Forza yeah, Forehead. Forza Horizon Four. Back in the day, had it. <laughs> Forza, Forza Horizon Four is, is 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 really a good racing game. It is. I'm I'm just not a fan of of Forza racing. I like arcadey racing. That's why Horizons is a little bit more arcadey. It is, and I played it a little bit, and it was okay. I just, I'm not that. It's still grounded too much in realism. Right. Like, I miss Project Gotham Racing. I think for me, Project Gotham Racing was always the happy, the happy balance, happy, happy medium. There. That, I, lo I used to love like that because that, that one you could customize everything, rims and all that stuff. You know, like the Need for Speed type of game. Underground. Like, yeah, on, oh, Need for Speed Underground takes the cake. That was that game was so fun. Yeah, even on PSP, that game was awesome. You know what we need is a new San Francisco rush. Uh, doesn't say go on there? No, I'm just kidding. They might, to be honest. Without checking, they might. You know, like, Sega owns every arcade game. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're, if you're Microsoft, buy Sega. Sega, they can put stuff on your Game Pass. They won't do it. That's super exciting. Uh, four plays. Four gotta plays do it. Something that we, uh, I, if I was them, I would do it. I'm looking at. What time do you gotta get off? Couch. That's pretty cool. Oh no, I'm good. Uh, I, I don't worry about me. Uh, I mean, if they're just gonna recap all the things they've shown and try to hype them up. No, nah, there's still gotta be a couple more games they have to show. Okay. Hopefully. Because if not, then I would say this is a train wreck. <laughs> It's like I wouldn't say train wreck. Uh, for me, it'd be a train wreck. We had zero expectations. <laughs> it didn't just it yeah. didn't fulfill any expectations. So that's why I would say it'd be a train wreck. You can't say you have zero expectations and then when you none of those like it doesn't make you hype. What's this guy? Does he act? Does he do the voices for the cars? <laughs> hey, it's uh, Nolan North. It's um Nathan Drake. You know what? Just because I'm gonna be able to hear his voice, it's gonna make the game that much better. Dun dun dun, bro! I'm telling you, you need to put uh. Super exciting, uh, because one, I'm excited. Put Uncharted on your iPad. I have like zero interest in playing Uncharted. Uh, are gonna be happy about it's a fantastic game. Bro. No one in the same video game, so that's gonna be it's amazing. Now, uh, it looked amazing when you were shooting the same enemy the over and over. I don't know what Uncharted it was that I was watching you play, and it was just like every bad guy looked exactly the same. They were all wearing suits and sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why didn't they not diversify the enemies? Why are all these people playing the Series S when the X is clearly better? <laughs> you notice that? Because they get a bunch of corporate people to work for Xbox, which is why they get so excited about ray tracing in Minecraft. 
you can play Xbox One, so you'll always be playing the best version. And lastly, is the fast loading. So that means that you get into the game almost instantaneously from turning on the console. Okay, come on. No more waiting. Nobody's gonna buy this you're game. There, you're racing like five per five percent of the Xbox players are gonna buy it. dirt. You buy the game, you get the best version. So no, everybody who who plays the Xbox who likes a racing game, game, they buy Forza. That's exactly. it. That's the list. I mean, Forza. I, I mean, it's it's surpassed Gran Turismo. I never thought that ever would be possible. Uh, they, when's the last uh, Gran Turismo they ever made? Though, like four years ago, it was it, it was good. But from what I read, but like the 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 scores are just it's not even in the same stratosphere as Forza. Right. Like this game that they're showing doesn't even look better than Forza Horizon Four. Horror. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> this, is the this is a train wreck. Hi, hello. Can you tell us more about this game and the Bluebird's team approach to the psychological horror genre? In our first psychological horror, that didn't really seem like psychological horror. It seems straight up like Constantine. Sacrifice yourself, or need, or you want to sacrifice yourself for your passion. To fulfill yourself. And the second uh, our game it was a server. And then Remove your the implant. Was, if I'm still human, if my mind may be digitalized, or if I have robotic parts, where is the line? You know, like in the body horror. In the body horror stuff, okay. Uh, and in the Blair Witch, of course, there was a This was a train wreck, man. Uh, uh, that, uh, but in the main topic, in the psychological horror stuff, was PTSD. Uh. It's just to wet our appetites. My appetite isn't even wet. The best thing they showed was the first game made by the one guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was actual gameplay. Supposedly. Yeah, that was the fun. Like, most of these games are all like, this is what we expect it to look like. <laughs> like, what the heck? Isn't this console coming out this year? Like, shouldn't these people have versions of this console already? But that first game was, in, it said, in game it's engine it's footage. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to rewatch it. Because it was the first thing, so I'm just going to rewatch it just to make sure. But this is the train wreck, man. This is. I would have rather them just show, like, how games are going to look. Like, yeah, I know they've shown Gears 5 over and over and over again. But, like, show what Battlefront 2 will look like on the Series X or or uh, Red Dead Redemption with ray tracing. I thought they would have showed a, re a Red Dead smart delivery version. That would have been tight. Give us a GTA 6 teaser. Yeah, we're not getting that. <laughs> You, bro, how much money do they still make oh, <laughs> GTA <so> 5? <laughs> is that the greatest game ever made? The people say it is. Them, the the people say it is. They keep strong. buying it. They can't. Nobody can stop playing. I mean, it's GTA game. Online mainly, but like the story was fantastic. The world is fantastic. They just it's need still to part do, of it. They need to do GTA 6, Vice City, but let you play all of Florida. <laughs> yeah, stop by my house. I'll be. <laughs> I'll drive right to my house, and be like, "Hey, I'm knocking on my door virtually and in real life." <laughs> on the X Cloud. There you go. It's power. It'd be like the power of the X Cloud. Let's be play literally knocking on my door as I knock on my door. Alrighty. Yeah, man. Oh, I like his hat. It's the corgi from Cowboy Bebop. Ugh, yeah, where's Jerry Seinfeld? This is a shame. <laughs> No, I'll be right. <laughs> Where's the? Uh, I don't know who said that. 
Norm McDonald as Burt Reynolds. This is a train wreck. No, it's not. No, that's correct. No, it's funny. It is. No, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> Why does she have a Destiny? Is that Destiny or is that the Halo Last Marathon, week. man? That's Ghost. That's, That's Destiny. Ghost from Destiny, yeah. She's even got a Destiny logo on her mouse. Let's trade her. Oh, yeah, get her out of here. What the heck? Yeah. How about that? How about one move change two companies' fates forever? Ay, ay, ay. We're still suffering the repercussions of Bungie and Microsoft splitting. <laughs> uh, only I if, mean, three. Not only, only if you don't fire up Master Chief Collection. <laughs> just, just ignore it. It exists, and you'll be okay. <sighs> Bro, this is... Um, I still can't get over it. Halo hasn't been the same, Xbox hasn't been the same, and okay, I put a lot of hours into Destiny, but like, it still wasn't... It's even worse now that it's just going to be full of microtransactions. I don't even... I've, play. Have you tried booting it up lately? I haven't played it since like four I don't know what I'm ago. doing. Like, it just says like, here, there's stuff to do. I'm like, well, where do I start? Here, well, there's stuff to it's, do. It's, it's full. It's gone full retard. It's gone full MMO. <laughs> it's uh, free to play. And when I, I am Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't win Oscar. <laughs> Don't believe me? I jump in. <laughs> I am Sam. Does what? Wait on my dad. Forrest Gump met the president. <laughs> ran all the miles. Fought. The you don't even try to worry. Oh my god, and those aren't our opinions or anything. We're just quoting a movie, people, just in case. It's time to get hyped because in July, you told us to get hyped for this one. I know, right? <laughs> the best thing in this whole stream is that giant size X Series X refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> this was a train wreck. This was a train wreck. This was a mess. Um, this was extremely disappointing. Not what I paid for. I want my money back. Um, returning it. This is this is this this was awful. <laughs> oh, I mean, you didn't even get Madden footage. You just got, hey, Madden's coming. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I know. I know. You can hope for though, because look, the last one was so bad. It's like, but but still, it's like, Madden's coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been doing this I've been doing this whole system thing since. You know, 1990, 1989. <laughs> oh, yeah. This was great. This guy, who, who says this was, was great? Do you work for Microsoft? <laughs> oh, my check. goodness. The hey, there we go. Sun L. Nupin. Lame. Thank you. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> he might be a Sony fanboy. Thank God it's, this is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you pull up my, where are my chats at over here? It's the sister. Good, good game. Thanks, Team Mixer. PS5 is hot, flaming, weak garbage. All right, idiot. Where's Cyberpunk? They barely show uh, any hype. Too many pre-rendered pre trailers. Not, not enough gameplay. gameplay. Yeah, the only one gameplay was the the one guy who made the thing by himself. Follow me if you play PUBG. <laughs> 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 oh lord some pretty cool this was, uh, clips this was uh well now i just want to i just want to sound off if you're microsoft the one you know you know how i knew it was not going to be great wow guess who wasn't here harry herbeck nope <laughs> <laughs> phil, phil spencer, spencer. Yeah, he usually shows up when they got something big to announce. Yeah, this was a, uh, this was this was a disaster. I'm sorry. Um, Yeet. They talked. Listen, no offense to anybody who likes the Dirt series. <laughs> it 
it's dirt. it's hard <laughs> it's hard to talk dirt when your own Forza Horizon game is built on racing, and it does dirt better than every other dirt game. Um, <laughs> oh man! Um, I I still say the best thing they showed was the first very first game, the made by the one man. The one one man. <laughs> was it from Transformers 2? <laughs> one man. <laughs> exactly. Um, Assassin's Creed, they didn't show any gameplay. I don't think. I don't think so. Was all sin- they showed him spin uh, around and throw an axe like 17 times. Yeah. Um, none of those games really were like, yeah, I'm all pumped. I'm excited um, for all of these. Oh, come on. I'm sure you are. I'm guessing. Um, I, I, I guess third party that you know the big ones didn't want to show because they're waiting for their event in July. Again, I'm gonna actually okay. I'm gonna take back the train wreck. It's I'm gonna cut them some slack. We do have COVID nineteen out there, so this was I, a level above a train wreck. What's a level above a train wreck? A plane wreck. This was a no. This was a um, a uh, a bicycle accident. <laughs> That's a couple levels, but it was a bicycle accident. I, I agree. Yeah. This was a fender bender on I four. <laughs> it was like, well, you know, I I'll, I'll cut you some slack. This is the only way to get to everywhere. It's a fender bender. Hey, I'm level eight. A bicycle accident. <laughs> oh. uh, my All favorite right, thing you... was probably like, <laughs> this is how we expect it to look. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is it. Not any better, not any worse. We hope it looks this good. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, um, that was, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. But I like, we had no expectations going in, so we can't really be upset about it. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, I mean it's a train wreck to me, but it's just like I'm not like yeah, I'm, sad I'm, I'm or not changing. Like, I'm still getting one, <laughs> you know. Yeah, because one thing we haven't talked about, I, I'm really excited about is the is the Obsidian purchase. <clears throat> um, I'm playing through the Outer Worlds right now, and. And and the Ninja Theory, I think, I think the purchases that they made, these are companies that are like small studios that, that punch that make games, make good games that they don't, that they're you know they don't have the budget to really make, you know, whether we like Assassin's Creed or not, the production values of that game in theory should be great because there's hundreds of people working on it. You look at Rockstar, the Grand Theft Auto games, those are next level games because there's hundreds of people working on them. They have tons of money going into it. And some of these studios just don't have those resources, and I think them being purchased by Microsoft yeah. alleviates a lot of well, that, the that pressure. Why, that's why a lot of them sold to them. I mean, it makes sense, but I mean, we should be seeing stuff. I mean, it would spend what two E three since they made those announcements, and we should be seeing some real. I mean, they may be saving it all for July. Okay, maybe, but if you know that your track history has been so light on exclusives. You need to start pumping it out now. I agree. Th- this third party thing, I understand. Well, I it should not have been first. It really should. I'm sorry. It just, no, it shouldn't. This is been. why it's not it should good. Have been a, this should have been a 15 minute clip showing each one of those games in a sequence in their July uh, presentation. Correct. The, this presentation, they really needed to. I don't even care if you have too much gameplay footage. What are you guys doing? Yeah. T- tell us what the plan is. Because I I, I know you have the studios. I know you're making the games. But, like, the endless... like It's very frustrating where I watch these videos sometimes, and it's the same people. They get, like, 80,000, 100,000 views, and they're like, oh, hey, you know, Microsoft, we think they're working on Perfect Dark, the reboot. Like, I don't want want any doubts anymore. Right. You know, okay, the initiative... Maybe you don't have to tell me the game they're working on because it's a studio. They're three years old. They still have a ton of positions open. Like the IGN podcast, (laughs) it kind of shut down with all these YouTube people are saying because it's like there's no way anybody has any real idea on what 
initiatives working on, they have seven lead positions still open. Right. Not like animator, like lead animator, <laughs> lead sound design, lead story developer. It's like, we don't know what they're working on. We really don't. And if they say Perfect Dark and it's, they are right, okay, you got lucky. But that game is not going to be ready for two or three more years. Right. But like Turn 10 Studios, or Playground, excuse me, Playground Studios, the second one they opened up, we should know what they're working on by now. Yeah. Like, should know. I need to know that it's Fable 4, it's a Fable reboot, or or it's a new fantasy game. Like, you, I should know what that is. Right. I should have way more gameplay footage. Halo comes out, I'm, I know Phil, and Phil Spencer, again, I'm not trying, I like Phil Spencer. I kind of like the way he does things and what he says. But if you're telling me the Xbox One is going to ship November, um... That's seven months. I need to have more gameplay footage of Halo Infinite. Right. Besides that one rendered... I mean, they showed that two years ago. Like, you have to have something to show. Yeah. And it's like, okay, E3's canceled this year. You're just going to have your own event, whatever. <clears throat> but give us something. Like, give us... There's no hype now for July, as opposed to saying, oh, we, we're they're saving all the good stuff for July. But are they, are they even really doing that? We just yeah. are hoping they are. For me, it plants doubts. Right. Like E3 last like, year, they didn't even mention Halo. They didn't even talk about it. No. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's just up in the You end don't end. have any more Hellblade, like Hellblade gameplay footage. Right. Um, give me even more, um, what's the game that, uh, the the Honey I Shrunk, Grounded? Oh, the, the one where it's like Ark, but in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, like... I'll take even more gameplay footage of that. Like, how does it work with the co-op? Right. Because um, I, I actually... That looks kind of fun to me. But, you know, it doesn't have to be... Like, give me something. Give me Forza 8. You haven't had a Forza games in, like, four years. Like, I, I know Horizon is a different game. It technically is a different game. It's a different series. Right. You know, give me some stuff. What are what are they working on? And it's like, well, hey, you gotta wait a little bit longer. It's like, <clears throat> you know, your council comes out in seven months, according <laughs> exactly, to your boss. Exactly. <laughs> Where I need more footage, because I need to know if I need to start putting money away to get it this year, or Am I you know, be like, you know what, I'll just wait for. I'll just I'll keep, I'll keep playing the games on my One X. Ay, ay, ay. So I, 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 I still think it was a bad idea to go third person, third, third person, third party first. Mm. And the games that they had didn't excite me. No. Like this is not a thing. This isn't. This doesn't even whet the appetite. This is like them putting the napkin on my legs <laughs> right before. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm still don't even, I haven't even had an appetizer yet. This isn't, they haven't even brought me garlic bread. They just That's sat all. us down at the table. <laughs> exactly. And I'm they haven't the even table. brought the bread out yet. <laughs> they haven't brought the bread out. I don't have my garlic parmesan. I'm giving Olive Garden all this free press because now we're buddy. <laughs> it's buddy. Olive Garden. We're, we're, buddy, we're buddy buddy now. Oh, my um, goodness. You know, they haven't taken my order for a drink yet. I'm still thirsty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I funny who knows it's a shame because third part there wasn't even any good third party like <laughs> i the only thing i think we both liked is that it was a bunch of obscure developers they gave a little limelight to <laughs> cool yeah i, I will get that's good for the, the developers but they should have made I'm this a whole them. they should have made it just a whole segment on the actual <laughs> reveal like hey look at these obscure developers you've never heard of and yeah. the games they're making watch this clip I, and then just show I, everything I, they just showed <laughs> I know you make fun of them a lot, but Nintendo has mastered this. They do their they? direct because their yeah, direct listen, was horrible. Yeah. Last no, year. no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they do the direct like they they're the ones they do like once every three months. Yeah. They talk about their games for like each the big ones like five minutes, and they're like, "Here's a couple upcoming games," and it's like a four minute clip of like ten seconds of every know. game. They spent like, forty five minutes talking about Smash Brothers. And how he oh came up with gosh. the with the design for characters sitting on the toilet for forty five minutes last, last year. 
Uh, well, at least they talked about their first party games. Yeah, well, that's all they have is first party games. I want Microsoft to talk about first party games. I like, you, you know, everybody, it's funny because I, I feel like people are on the, on YouTube and Twitter and they're really counting Sony out. It's like, oh, you know, Sony hasn't said anything. It's like, well, do they need Sony to? still, Sony's still making hand over fist on the PS4. I don't know if you guys noticed. Yeah, like, and, why? and like, just all this, go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay. I was just like, Microsoft is touting all this stuff, you know, the 100% X backwards compatibility. Sony's not doing that. Why don't you just mention that? <laughs> you know, if you're even if you want to keep it to third party titles, but third party titles that release on Xbox and 360. <sighs> yeah. You know, and, and to be to Sony, okay, the PS5 is coming out, but before the leaks and the spoilers came out, they had two major first party games coming out this year. Yeah. You know, they have them in that are, and by the way, that are exclusive to Sony. It's not like, okay, yeah, Xbox Game Studios makes my, uh, Minecraft Dungeons, but I mean, I can play it on my phone. Exactly. <laughs> I can play it on the Switch. I can play it on the PS4. Ghost of Tsushima is coming only to the PS4. Yep. So, you know, even, they they still have software coming out, you know? Even the PS3. The PS3 was a train wreck to start, but it still ended up selling 90 million, 80 million consoles, you know? Like, it just the, the brand name is always going to be there. So I'm not really concerned for Sony, to be completely fair and honest. Um, I would like Microsoft to be competitive again, just because it makes everybody it makes everybody be on top. The more competition, the better everybody has to be. Right, exactly. Like, and my and Sony's at this point is just like competing with themselves, but put they're pushing their developers. Like, Microsoft needs to hire whoever is the in charge of like marketing or you know developer <clears throat> relations in Sony and bring them over. Well, they're hiring a ton of people from Sony Santa Monica. Over the initiative is in Santa Monica. They are bringing over tons of talent from everywhere else into that studio. I think another reason that Microsoft, I, th I do think Microsoft has learned their lesson um, for now. I say for now because five years from now, when we'll the One X has won the generation, in theory, if this all happens, let's say they win the generation, right? Mm -hmm. The next Xbox, they're going to do the exact same thing that they did with the One, with this one, the One. They're going to mess up. They're going to get, uh, these companies tend to do that. They do. They lose, they get hungry, it creates a sense of urgency, you're willing to make the sacrifices to make it work, and then when it's working, and then it's like, well, you know, we don't have to do that now, we can put whatever we want on it because people are going to buy it. No, people are not just going to buy it. Yeah. Okay? Nintendo learned that. People are not just going to buy it. The Wii U stunk. <laughs> okay? The Switch outsold it in one year. <laughs> <clears throat> So, um, it's true. You know, man, they, no show. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know, man. That, that was a. This was like an independent studio show for me that just happened to have Assassin's Creed. <laughs> right. They just tallied. And it wasn't even like they were saying, I don't know, whatever. Assassin's Creed already is looks stupid. It's been stupid the last couple of games. Origins had an opportunity. I mean, Origins looked fantastic. It played really well. The story was interesting, but they failed. It. Like they let it. They let the ball drop at the end of it. But it's just like they didn't even show legit. Like they should have shown a mission at least or something. Yeah, like this was. I tell you, this is the more you think about it. This 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 show was a train wreck. It just it really was. And it's a shame. That's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> All our hopes now in July. Well, yeah, I mean, but I, 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 what, I mean, you have 13 studios, and a lot of them have been making games for your stuff now for two years. Like, Okay, perfect example. And again, I hate to make it seem like Sony does everything right because they really don't. Right. But Ghost of Tsushima, the video for this game 
in-game engine with some gameplay came out three years ago in 2017. Yeah. Is anybody less anticipated for this game because it's taken them three years to make it? Nope. It just no. builds up. Uh, correct. And it's like, oh, man, there's no footage. It's like, okay. I saw something. I know it exists, that game. And if you go back, I, I went back and I looked at the footage from, like, 2017. Uh -huh. You could tell, okay, the graphics are there, but the engine's not done yet because it's it stutters. And right. the frame rate drops to, like, you know, 10 frames a second. And so it's not ready. So it, it needs ironing out. They need to work harder. But it's like, okay, they can... Tell me what it looks like. I have an idea. I don't have any idea what anybody's working on. <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it's just like it's their it's their one crutch. Like I don't know why they just can't get over that hump of making something good <laughs> or making like the games, pushing the games instead of the the hardware. Their games. Their games, yeah. Because I, I, third-party games don't matter because they that's why they're third-party. They come out on everything. Exactly. I mean, Skyrim, you could play Skyrim on your refrigerator. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why do I need to buy your console? You know, Nintendo tells you why you need to buy a Nintendo console. You want to play Mario? Yeah. You want to play Zelda? Yeah, okay. There's only one place to play it. That's it. That's why the first thing they need to do is cut cut out everybody from Minecraft. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if the developer said that no, as that was part of the agreement to be purchased. I mean, it but... was already on all those things, and that's fine. Leave it there. They need to release a major update to it and only have it on Xbox and Windows. That's the thing I've heard is, like, you can't really do a Minecraft 2. <laughs> yeah, they probably wouldn't do it right anyway. It's just they just need to evolve the game in a big way. I mean, the ray tracing thing, they'll probably that will probably only be on the PCs that can do it and Xbox Series X. So if you want ray tracing, then you, you're not going to be able to get it on Sony, even if PlayStation 5 allows it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so see, I, I just looked this up. This article doesn't make any sense. This is from September 15, 2014, right? Uh-huh. Microsoft follows historical form announces that henceforth all Mojang products, projects, and future versions of Minecraft will be exclusive to Microsoft platforms, Xbox consoles, Windows PCs, tablets, and phones. Okay, so this is why Dun Mic uh, Minecraft Dungeons on everything. It's like, wait a minute. Is Minecraft Dungeons coming to everything, though? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's like, are you nuts? Yeah, that's stupid. You want a system seller. You know, I don't know, man. That's a stupid thing. And it's like, it's it's almost like they just want to play nice, but nobody else just wants, is playing with them. They, they're they like the sucker. You know, you know how like, you sit down at the table, if you can't spot the sucker in five seconds, you're the sucker. <laughs> like, that's Microsoft. They're sitting right. at the table with Sony and Nintendo, like, oh, we're just going to be, we want to play nice with everybody. And, then, and Sony and Nintendo are like, this idiot. <laughs> About to take all his money. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, could, you could bet if Sony had the rights to Microsoft, if Minecraft, and they own Minecraft, it's only coming on the PlayStation. Oh, my goodness. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, that would have been... Was this Minecraft originally Xbox exclusive? When it first came to consoles, I'm not sure. I don't know, man. I mean, you had the opportunity to take one of the biggest, one of the five biggest games in the world, um, and own it, and own the properties and the spinoffs and everything like that, and you just no. You paid two billion dollars for it too. I know. Like, what the heck are you thinking? Oh well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's wrap it up. Um, okay. Final thoughts. You go final ahead. thoughts. Yeah. It, I mean, we were we were fantasizing about some uh, uh, amazing announcements Microsoft could have made, but they didn't make. Obviously, uh, it was a horror-driven 
thing, which is not really interesting. A lot of obscure developers, which was cool. Um, Assassin's Creed was retarded, didn't look good. Um, <clears throat> so disappointing overall. Codemasters, uh, the Dirt Dirt Rally didn't look dirt as good as Forza look Horizon good. Four. Does, yeah, the new Dirt game doesn't look as good as a game that's been out for a year or two. So it looks like Dirt. It no looks like intended. Dirt. Um, <laughs> which may be what they're going for. Who knows? But we, all we have to do is wait till June or July when they're going to have their other, the big reveal, and hopefully we get some big announcements. But Microsoft has proven to not do that on a regular basis. So we'll just keep it, keep our hopes and fingers crossed. Maybe. Let's go just, back to Gears Tactics. Let's go back to Gears Tactics. I'm still going to get the Series X. It hasn't thwarted me yet. Yeah. But, no, I'm still going to get it. Yeah, absolutely. They need They need some help. We all know it. Microsoft I just want to know. I, I, I don't like being left in the dark for so long. It's like, just tell me what you're working on. Right. Yeah, give us an so update that I... on, on all the studios that you have grinding games away, supposedly, and let us know what's coming. Like, just give us a little glimpse, you know. Hopefully, we'll get that in June. That's July. Yeah, hopefully. But they did. they are doing this new... 20 for 2020 where like on the 20th of every month they do like an xbox inside edition or something yeah it's a monthly episode or i think they do weekly episodes but maybe they announce new stuff monthly yeah <clears throat> we'll see but it's been forever since anyone has ever even seen anything from halo so after they <sighs> initially revealed that i wonder if that initial reveal was they pushed that at last minute to get something out since they maybe they didn't have something else i don't know which is why we haven't seen it in two years. But it better be good, I'll tell you that much. If they want to sell consoles, it better be good. Um. Oh, I wanted to get you that. What do you think about the rumor that Halo's multiplayer and co-op will be free to download? That's cool. I think some games should do that already. Like, GTA does it with GTA Online. You can get just the online portion. Um, what game was I thinking about should do it recently? <sighs> Call of Duty just did it with the with their uh their battle royale part. Yeah. Oh, the war zone. Which is yeah. There's there, the, by the way, theirs isn't so bad. It's more like Apex Legends and Yeah, we played it for a little bit. I mean, it's it's just battle royale, I think it's it's run its course a little bit. So it's like once you beat it, it's not really that much fun to play anymore. <laughs> it's run its course if you're the person who likes like a story-driven type game. But you even, know, that's even still like Fortnite starting to die down. Warzone didn't really it offers some new things, but nothing too much. Um, people are just jumping into the regular multiplayer at this point. Apex Legends is dying down. It just, they're not just getting they're, they don't have the steam they once had. Well, that's what happens. This is why this is why those games aren't supposed to last because. At some point in time, what's the point? Why am I playing this game? That's why story-driven games. Whenever the EA guy said, like, oh, single-player games are dying, it's like, are you nuts? <laughs> yeah. Do you even play video games? At some point in time, I'm going to ask myself, EA is why the drunk am uncle I play- at a family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't listen to what he says. You're like, okay, here's another yeah. shot. But, but seriously, though, right at some point in the game, you're going to be like, why am I playing this game? Yeah. Like, yeah. I was playing World of Warcraft, and I asked myself that one time, like, I've put, like, a, a, well, so many hours in this game, like... For what? <laughs> what am I doing? It's true. It's true. I, I think the, the lore of Battle Royale, because for streamers, it, it's perfect for streamers because that's what streamers are. They're mindless, they're mindless monkeys playing games. That's why they just rush through story games so fast to get it out there first. Because if you're not the first streamer to play through a game, you're not getting the views. And so it's like Battle Royale is perfect for them because they don't want to play story games because they're not appreciating it for the story anyway. So, but it's still, it's, it just feels like, you know, I mean, Battle, Battlefield was horrible. Whatever Fort, changes Fortnite incorporated, apparently not everybody likes it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's a I mean, shame. Have I their place, I... Let them have their place if you want to jump in. It's cool that Warzone is free. You know, it's like it's like Rocket League. Basically, they have Battle Pass every, every couple of months or something. Right. And, like, those, those games are fun to play, but, like, you can't... I, I, I don't I, I don't see the appeal of playing them, like, 
month, every single day. At some point in time, it's like, like even Rocket League. At some point in time, I'm like, okay, I don't really want to play Rocket League anymore because I want to. Yeah, and that's why they keep trying to release new modes to bring the people back. Like, oh, here, look, they're trying to, to freshen it up a little bit, but it just doesn't work out all the time. Yeah. That's why the number one selling game on the PS4 is is Uncharted 4. The next one is God of War. The next one is, or no, the next one's Spider-Man. The next one is God of War. The next one is Horizon Zero Dawn. Story, the story-driven games. Okay, yeah, Uncharted 4 has multiplayer, and Uncharted 4 sold with the console, but it's like, people still want to play a game and have an ending and be like, man, the ending was great. Right. <coughs> Alrighty. Well, let's see if we can make yeah. this a semi-regular thing. It'd be interesting to get some videos back up. All this quarantine has boosted our channel's views like crazy. Yeah. Well, and I've also, my schedule's changed, so I have mornings off. You know, I don't start working long until 1130 now, except right. Tuesdays. But like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the two, every Tuesday I have off. And, um, yeah. Sounds good to me. We'll get something down in the books and try to plan something. It has yeah. been a while. Oh, man, I was listening to the podcast and just got the juices flowing. And... Oh, yeah, you used the song. Which one? Are you the one that I bought. The what? Oh, the song. The yeah. song? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll mix it in there. <clears throat> Alrighty.